When it comes to playing my Steam Deck or any of my other handheld gaming PCs in console mode, I find myself alternating back and forth between dedicated docking stations and one of these USB 4 multi-port media expansion hubs. It really just all depends on the situation, but what BenQ has managed to do is take the features and functionality of both and put them into a really convenient package. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Creatus GR10 made by BenQ. What this thing essentially is, is a hybrid multi-port USB 4 media hub and a dedicated dock for the Steam Deck or any other handheld gaming PC. It retails around $109 US dollars, which is what you would expect for any one of these decent USB 4 mobile docking stations. But how well does it actually perform? Let's take a closer look. The packaging is simple and organized, exactly what I would expect from BenQ. And inside the box, you have the GR10 itself and some paperwork that includes a quick start guide, warranty information, stuff like that. At first glance, the GR10 looks like something straight out of the 80s. It's got this brushed aluminum finish that's cool to the touch, and it flows into this texturized plastic. It looks like something I'd expect Robocop to be using to expand his USB ports. It's small and compact and does a good job managing its USB cable. Of course, the real feature of this thing is that at any point you can pull down this plastic tab and it transforms into a full-fledged dock for your Steam Deck or other handheld gaming PC. Over on its underside, you have this rubberized finish to stop it from sliding around all over the place and the grooves for the cable management. I know this might not seem like a big deal, but this is really convenient. If you've ever taken one of these things and just thrown it into a backpack only to have it get tangled up with a bunch of your other cables, you understand how helpful it is to have this little cable management feature. Over on its backside is where all the ports are located. You have 100 watt PD fast charge 3.0 port. You have an HDMI 2.0 port that's capable of outputting at 4K 120 Hz or 8K at 60 Hz. You have two high speed USB A ports with transfer speeds up to 10 gigabits, as well as a high speed 2.5 gigabit ethernet port. And if that weren't enough for you, you have an additional high speed USB type C port capable of transfer speeds of 10 gigabits as well. It's USB cable is one of those flat top low profile ones that's perfect for the Steam Deck, but it can also snap off into a more traditional USB cable, perfect for when you're using it for a laptop. And speaking of using it for a laptop or a mini PC, this thing works as good as you would imagine. Light Lightning fast transfer speeds, compact design takes up hardly any space, and just super convenient. Hell, if you bought one of these and just used it for this alone, you would be getting your money's worth. But that's not the reason why I got one, and dropping in the Steam Deck, it fits very comfortably and snug. They really got the dimensions on point. It doesn't wiggle around much, and at the same time, it doesn't feel super tight like it's going to break your deck. Color stood vibrant and contrast stood where it needed to be. That's a big issue I noticed with some third party docks. Some of them the brightness will be super low and other ones the image will be completely oversaturated. That wasn't the case with the GR10 and it did exactly what I needed it to do. And whether I was using it on my monitor in the office or on the 4K in the living room, the performance stood consistent. Guys, I have to say, I think I found my new main dock for the Steam Deck. This thing really does it all and doesn't have any weaknesses. If I had to nitpick at something, I would have really liked to have seen it with an additional HDMI port so that it can support dual display and maybe a built-in SD card reader. But that's more so for the production side of things and being used for a laptop. Being used with the Steam Deck is absolutely perfect. And if its primary function is going to be used for that, it gets my highest recommendation. If you guys are interested in the GR10, I'll put links in the description below. Until next time, this is Ness, signing out.